Pulmonary atresia. Um, this is when pulmonary valves, uh, the pulmonary valve does not form properly and remains closed at birth. This means that blood can't flow from the right ventricles into the lungs, and if it's untreated, it can be fatal. When the baby's in the womb, the blood travels to lungs through other natural passages, like the foramen of valley, the ductus arteriosus, or if they have one, a ventricular septal defect. Um, these passages usually close after birth, which means that the baby does not get enough oxygen. Some symptoms, which are usually which usually appear within hours or days of birth, include cyanosis, which is like blue or gray, grayish color skin. Cause, this is caused by a lack of oxygen in the blood. Um, fast breathing, breathing or shortness of breath, um, being easily tired, feeding problems like tiring or sweating while eating, and pale, clammy skin. This here is a picture or diagram of a heart with pulmonary atresia, and you can see that the pulmonary valve here is completely closed off and you can't open. Some of the risk factors for pulmonary atresia include German measles or other viral illnesses during early pregnancy. If one of the parents has a congenital heart disease, uh, alcohol use during pregnancy, smoking before or during pregnancy, a mother with poorly controlled diabetes, a mother with lupus, which is an autoimmune disorder, and the use of certain med medications during pregnancy. So like the acne drug isotretinoin, which is clarivus or amnestine, um, some anti-seizure meds, and some bipolar disorder meds as well. And also, if your baby has Down syndrome, which is an extra chromosome 21, he or she might have a higher chance of having pulmonary atresia. Some complications um, are, um, it's nearly always fatal without treatment, and you could get infectious endocarditis which is inflammation of the valves and the inner lining of the heart caused by a bacterial infection. So some ways to diagnose pulmonary atresia is by x-ray, electrocardiogram, echocardiogram, or cardiac catheterization. Um, so the treatment of pulmonary atresia, you could take a medication, prostaglandin, which is an intravenous drug, um, this prevents the closure of the ductus arteriosus, which is this opening here. It's a natural opening found in babies still in the womb, but usually closes after birth. So if you keep it open, then blood can get to the lungs to get oxygenated. But that's only temporary. You can also use... Uh, procedures via catheterization. Uh, one of them is radiofrequency ablation and balloon velotomy. Um, how it works is you apply energy or use a wire to create a small hole in um, the center of the valve. So you can see here. Oh, JK. Here, this one. Um, and then you use a balloon, so you can see like in these pictures, to enlarge and um, uh, to poke a little hole in the valve. Um, also, another one is balloon atrial septostomy, which we use a balloon to enlarge the natural, the natural opening form an ovale between the two atria. Um, this one, this opening usually closes after birth, but if you enlarge it, it increases blood available to travel to the lungs. Um, another one is a stent placement. Um, it places a rigid tube, which is called a stent, in the nat natural connection between the 
the aorta and the pulmonary valve, the uh, pulmonary uh, artery, and this opening also usually closes within a few days of birth, but to keep this open, you need to keep this open so you can let blood travel to the lungs. Um, of course, heart surgery. So, shunting is similar to a stent placement, but in stunting, you create a bypass from the aorta to the pulmonary arteries. So, this is when the ductus arteriosus has already closed, so you need to place an artificial opening or a bypass between the two arteries. Um, this is usually outgrown within a few months, so you would have to come back for more treatment. Um, another type of heart surgery is the Glenn procedure. It uses one of the large veins that um, normally returns blood to the heart, and you connect it to the pulmonary artery instead. The other large vein continues to bring blood to the right uh, the right side of the heart and is pumped through a surgically repaired pulmonary valve. So you can see in the picture here that um, the surgeons took part of the superior vena cava, which is part which is a large uh, vein that brings the oxygenated blood to the right atria and connected it to the pulmonary artery. So this means that some of the blood that returns from the body can go directly into the pulmonary artery to the lungs instead of having to go into the right atrium and the right ventricle to be pumped to the lungs. Another procedure is the Fontan procedure. Um, this allows most blood coming to the heart to flow to the pulmonary artery. And basically it's uh, a continuation of the gland procedure where you create um, an opening from the right atrium to the uh, vena cava so more blood can flow to the pulmonary artery. And last but not least is heart transplant surgery. Um, if the heart is too damaged to repair. Um, surgeons will remove the diseased heart and um, put in a donated heart. So this will help um, the patient survive.